Bill Clinton, former president, arguably had at least eight... Hi, folks! Fat man here he is. And right now, for your enjoyment, I am going to be eating bread douse Miss Grady. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, folks! Douse it in the gravy real good? Ah, oh, yeah! I decided to ask Bill Clinton about that. Mm. And it turns out he did have a coronary calcium scan just months after leaving office. Brad, douse the gravy. Then, doctors weren't quite sure what to do with the results. They said I this is going to be a hilarious fat man video, folks. They put me uh, basically in the top mm. part of the ribs, but they said there's no evidence of blockage because I've done prolonged long stress tests. Brad. Before this happened. I know this can never, uh, not, not every time, but... That's time. Bill Clinton talking about his heart attack on CNN, folks. In the background. How his arteries are clogged. Oh, yeah. By the time he felt the first symptoms, that tightness in his chest... That's one slice down, folks! ...was well advanced. It had been decades in the making. You don't dive in your first flat. You... Uh, I was doing a good fat man video. Doing a classic. Um, ...for many, many mm. years before it causes a heart attack or stroke. And That's two slices down, down, folks! ...should ring a bell of hope for just about anyone who's ever worried about a heart attack. It doesn't have to happen. Ah, yeah, One folks. Bread dousing gravy. Is the doctors who are practicing aggressive prevention. <laughs> so are good. Heart attacks <laughs> and, and strokes disappear from their practices. And I feel this is going to be a classic. We, with what we know right now, <laughs> we don't have to have any more heart attacks in this country. I'll never say not any, but the great. That's majority. three slices down, folks. It's the biggest killer of men and women. Heart disease in this country. And it's completely preventable. Coming up. Ah. My heart attack rate. And can you really this is going to be a classic. Also, can the right diet make you heart attack proof? That's three slices down, folks. Cool, he found it. Wow. Nice place. Yeah. Ah, dip it in there. Ah, bread dousing gravy. They proposed to John Line and arranged a free pickup. And I'm gonna track them online. Ah, yeah. Those boxes in this place, I'm totally staying sane this year. Do I smell snickerdoodles? Maybe. Gotta go. Priority mail, flat rate shipping at U.S. That's four slices down, folks. This is gonna be a new classic. Ah, yeah, folks. Everyone deserves the gift of a pain free almond. This is going to be a classic. <laughs> All day pain relief with just two pills. Out of Beck's plumber, but. I feel this is going to be a classic Fat Man video. <laughs> Funny as hell, huh, folks? Step three. Put on a Duluth Long Tail T. That's five slices down. Your work. The Duluth Long Tail T. Three inches longer to keep you. Ah, yeah, folks. Step one at DuluthTrading.com. This year, we wanted to be the best oh. carolers in the neighborhood, so I hired the incomparable Beth Midler. At a time when it's easy to go overboard, I thought that went very well. Acura invites you to be smarter and overstay during the season of recent sales event. Take advantage of attractive offers on the 2012 Acura MDX for lower customers. 
That six slices down. This is bringing you back to the glory days of Fat Man, folks. The glory days. Ah, uh, yeah. You can organize, prioritize, <laughs> then with more than 130 years experience. Ah, oh, get that, get that gravy. This is going to be a new classic. Or ask your advisor. It's time to dream again with the principal. Ah. Uh, what does it take to be first and to take the leap and create something the world has never seen? Dr. Sanjay Gupta finds out what drives the people who are flying. Brad Dowsing Gravy. CNN. With a family history of heart disease and a lifetime of bad eating habits, President Clinton told me he was a heart attack waiting to happen. That's seven slices down, folks! He was about to have a heart attack. You probably wouldn't think this guy. Tom Bear, 53, Finn, seemingly healthy. Ah, Brad Dowsing Gravy. Full-blown heart attack. In fact, he's checking into this hospital in Lincoln, Nebraska, for open heart surgery. It's a ah. lesson. What you see on the outside doesn't always match the inside. In this instance, it obviously. Uh, Take you back to the glory days of that man. Taking <laughs> images on the angiogram of Bear's heart. This is gonna be a new Fat Man classic. Fat Man is bred dousing gravy. Isn't that funny as hell, folks? So that vessel on the side takes off, and then another narrowing. That's eight slices down. Flying blood to the heart, blocked. Yes, that is the very picture of a heart attack waiting to happen. He is at risk for heart attack just because of the amount of plaque that he has in there. Could he have prevented? Like me, Bear has a family history of heart disease. That's why four years ago he underwent the. Yeah, he was almost gone. I just learned about. His results were not good. Ah. And the score was 100, uh, was 111. Zero is the best. Over 100 means an increased risk of ah, yeah. and sudden death. And you may agree. Take you back to the glory days of Fat Man. It's going to take me another couple minutes to check these images, make sure we have everything we need. Bear went to the test again this year. And the score was a... The glory days, folks. Do you have a score for someone his age? Five. That means Fred Dowsing Gravy. Oh, yeah. Funny as hell. A jogging routine that I do. And uh, made it about three tenths of a mile. And then had the classic uh, symptoms. Oh, yeah, folks. Pain down the, down the left arm and shortness of breath. And remember, folks, shake stop to the bitch ass night. Whatever the hell that combination of words means. Within days. Shake stop to the bitch ass night. Oh, yeah. And that's the rest of the game, folks. Despite our efforts to all on. This is then Fat Man Eats Bread. Dousty Granny. And here, folks, until next time. Shake stop to the bitch ass night. Whatever the hell that means. And also. Oh yeah, an awesome, awesome. Bye now. More than fifty billion dollars.